Now, Kenya has launched a special campaign to reduce the impact of a biting coin shortage by getting consumers to put coins back in circulation. So severe has the coin shortage been that most retailers had taken to giving sweets and matchboxes to shoppers rather than coins as change. CCTV's Peter Cabanal with more details on a problem that has seen the clink of coins disappear from shopping tills. <laughs> It is not uncommon to get sweets, matchboxes and now gift cards in place of small change at the till in various shops and major supermarkets in the Kenyan capital Nairobi. The country is fully in the grips of a biting coin shortage. So just where did all the coins go? We do know that those coins have not gone into other uses and that is the most important point in Kenya. We know they are lying somewhere in your offices, in your bedrooms, in your car, in various forms. So it has not gone anywhere. It has not leaked out into any other form. It is apparently a phenomenon that has been seen in other parts of the world. The Central Bank of Kenya maintains that while the issue is indeed serious, there should be no cause for alarm, as all the situation requires is a fitting solution. The bank notes that rather than a shortage of coins, the situation is actually a circulation hitch caused by the fact that most people view coins as cumbersome to carry around and continuously stockpile them at home. The regulator has thus spearheaded a publicity campaign aimed at encouraging those who have coins stashed away to bring them back into circulation or use them in everyday shopping activities. There is no inadequacy of coins. It's actually a challenge of circulation. And we would like to make sure that the stakeholders in this area we partner together and create avenues of creating better circulation. According to bank statistics, there are 1.31 billion pieces of coins in circulation, all valued at over 5.1 billion shillings, or about $60 million, more than enough for proper circulation. But still the shortage persists. So severe has been this shortage that various retailers and supermarket chains have made sourcing of coins part of their core day-to-day -day activity. As it's quite he hectic to have two employees daily whose work only is just to go around looking for coins. It's quite hectic, it's quite uh, expensive to us. Many Kenyans who get the coins as change take them home and forget about them. As more and more coins get taken off the market, a trade in the grey market to supply coins is now thriving, indicating that the problem is quite serious in some areas. To us, we've tried to collect this cash and uh, we pay up to 60 shillings for every thousand shillings of cash that we get, that is point number two. And we've also tried to get loose coins from places of worship. You know, we ask them to get it through temples where people put offerings, from the churches and wherever possible you can get it. The publicity campaign is expected to raise awareness about the need to keep coins in circulation. Banks, retailers and other stakeholders have all been roped into the venture to remind shoppers that even low denomination coins are indeed an integral part of the financial system. Legal tender or shopping headache, like it or not, coins are here to stay. And with the current shortage and crisis of coins here in Kenya, an innovative solution to this problem will definitely have to be found. Peter Kabasisi TV, Nairobi, Kenya.